What's up, YouTube universe? I'm Dash, and welcome to Philly Metro Transit News. Today is Friday, October 29th, and since I know exactly what's on everyone's mind right now, let's just get straight into it. But first, before we even get into the nitty gritty, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to Dash Transit, we do videos daily, and maybe check out the Discord server. There's a link in the description for you. So earlier this week, the TWU-234, the union responsible for operations of SEPTA City Transit Division as well as Frontier, has voted to authorize a strike and it could start as early as Monday morning. What this means is that all buses, trolleys, trackless trolleys, and subways within the city of Philadelphia will not operate. Since we here at the Dash Transit Channel wish to remain neutral, we will not talk about the terms of the strike or what SEPTA is doing to prevent it. Instead, we will talk about the services of which are affected. Suburban transit lines will continue to operate. This means routes 90 through 150 and the Norristown High Speed Line. This also means the 200 series, contracted routes in the 300 series, as well as the Lucy and the Cornwells Heights parking lot shuttle will continue to operate as well. However, some lines will be operating with alternating routing. Starting with the lowest number, which will be Frontier routes 94 and 97, which normally terminate at Chestnut Hill Loop, will instead be operating to Erdenheim. Victory routes 103, 105, and 106 will be bypassing Overbrook and instead serve Victory Avenue and Westchester Pike. Route 108, which normally operates in Southwest Philly, will instead be operating through Yayton and Darby instead. Route 115, which normally operates to the Philadelphia Airport, will instead be terminating at Falcroft and will not serve the Philadelphia International Airport. And now the big doozy is routes 124 and 125, which normally serve Wissahickon, 30th Street, and Center City. Instead, these routes will be terminating at Golf Mill Station and then diverting over to Villanova Station. We're not done yet. There's a few more things worth noting. Routes 129, 130, and 133 will not be serving Frankfurt and Knights Loop. Instead, they'll be diverting over to Cornwell's Heights Station, connecting with the Trenton Line. And speaking of regional rail, regional rail lines will continue to operate at full capacity, but will also be cross-honoring weekly transpasses and monthly transpasses within the city of Philadelphia. The exceptions to this rule will be Forest Hill Station and Somerton Station on the West Trenton Line. These will instead require the normal Zone 3 fare. Wow, that was a mouthful. I have not spoken that much at once in my entire life. Anyway, continuing with the strike, if you need additional details, I recommend you check out www.septa.org slash service slash interruptions slash 2021 hyphen guide. The link will be in the description. This just in, as of 7.50 this morning, SEPTA and the TWU-234 have reached a tentative agreement on a new contract for the transit workers. This contract brings a new one-time hazardous pay bonus for all workers who have worked from March 15, 2020 through March 15, 2021, offering an additional dollar per hour work with a maximum of $2,200 per worker. This contract will also give paid parental leave to all the workers. We will know for certain whether or not the new contract is accepted after it goes to vote next week, but come Monday morning, transit that should operate as normal. On to a much more lighter note, it's time to talk about some new bus news. SEPTA has approved the purchase of 220 new buses from New Flyer Industries after an order of 525 New Flyer Excelsior hybrids with a total of 1,708 buses from New Flyer built for SEPTA to date. It's no surprise that SEPTA would continue to work with New Flyer Industries for a future order. These new buses will be diesel electric hybrids as we've been used to by now, but unlike before, these new buses will use the BAE Systems Hybrid Drive as opposed to the Allison H40 EP that SEPTA has been getting for the past decade and a half. These new buses will be set to arrive beginning in August 2022 and replace the 2005 and 2006 New Flyer D40 LF diesel buses, which are number 8000 to 8119, as well as the 2008 New Flyer Hybrid DE40 LF buses, which are number 8120 through 8219. SEPTA is also considering an additional 120 buses, which will be just enough to replace the 2009 DE40 LFs, which are numbered 8220 through 8339. There is no official word on a numbering of the new buses, but that's likely to be revealed next year as well. On the topic of new buses, New Jersey Transit approved the purchase of eight electric buses built from New Flyer Industries. These new electric buses are to operate out of Newton Avenue Garage, which is in Camden, New Jersey, with a pilot arriving in mid-2022. These new buses will be the New Flyer XE40 model with the Siemens electric propulsion system. 
Similar to SEPTA, New Jersey Transit has been already established to have a working relationship with New Flyer Industries for previous orders, such as the 2020 order of New Flyer XD60 articulated buses, which replaced the 2003 to 2004 Neoplane articulated buses. It's safe to say that things are looking up and up for New Flyer Industries in the Philadelphia metro area, especially this year. Speaking of this year, it's that spooky time of year again. And to celebrate, SEPTA has a Halloween themed trolley car operating out of Collar Hill Depot. This car is number 9074 and operates on Route 10. Catch it while you can. You still have two days to catch that spooky trolley. In the spirit of the holidays, SEPTA is once again doing Christmas buses for each depot. The 2004 New Flyer D40LF buses that have been sitting on the sidelines for the past year and a half have made their way to each depot to be decorated. For those that want the numbers, the ones that are confirmed so far are 5859 is at Victory, 5749 is at Southern, 5735 is at Callow Hill, 5727 is at Allegheny, 5851 has returned to Frontier. If more are confirmed between now and next week, we'll keep you posted. But for now, keep your eyes peeled for those buses. You may even see them in motion from time to time as their decoration progress begins. And that's all we have for today. How do you feel? Let us know in the comments. I'll be doing a new news video every week on Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Take care. Thanks for watching and peace out.